Sunday, March the 4th. I am back at the same place where I did really good for crappie yesterday. And uh, this time, I told myself no artificial lures. I am only using minnows with bobber. What I'm doing, I got the smallest bobber you can buy pretty much that uh, prevents them from feeling resistance. And then I got a double hook set up with a tiny split shot to keep them from swimming around so much. One minnow is rosy reds, for which are meant more for muddy stained water, and just a regular shiner. So each pole I'm casting out is like having two poles. It's doubling my chances. We're gonna see if they're in the mood like they were yesterday. Just a matter of being patient and letting it set this time. Instead of using lures and using lures and getting hung up and figure it was this way if I get hung up all I'm gonna be losing is a hook and a bobber and uh I'm not casting over and over and spooking them. Pretty connected folks. It took me less than one minute to get a slab. Less than one minute. It is on again. He's about ten and a half, eleven inches. Not bad. Wow. Caught him on the rosy red minnow instead of the regular shiner. I'm gonna keep track of this. I can see which ones are working best. I bought two dozen of each. It's a nice crappie. 11 inches. I'm gonna put her back because that's a pregnant female the future of this lake. So we're going to put her back. Oh yeah, I got another one, folks. I think it's a black this time. Yep, that's a nice one, too. Man. I caught the same fish yesterday. Exact same fish, and I'll show you how I know here in a second. I caught the same fish yesterday because I had a black spot right here. Same exact dark black circle. Yesterday, but I'm almost sure that that's the same fish. Nice black crappie. He's probably right at eight inches. It's barely a keeper, and it's a male. Put him back there. Nice crappie, nonetheless. All right, let's get him back in. Got him. Now it's a crappie. A little black, he's only about six inches. All right, folks, another crappie black this time. That's six, seven inches. Or I had about a half an hour with not a thing because I got hung up on one of the branches and probably spooked them for a while. This one's pretty small, guys, maybe nine or ten inches. <sighs> not bad, though. Another black. Same deal, men on bobber. I came to the other side of the beaver dam and tried on the left side. Put him back. You go get bigger, buddy. Alright. Folks, lab number five coming in. A little better than last time. About, no, it's about the same, about 10. This time it's a white crappie. 
on the pinky minnow. Not bad. Nice. Now he's about 10 inches. Yeah, 10 at the most. All right, we're gonna put her back. It's a prego. So, to ensure the future of this fishery, we're gonna let her go. All right, you go get bigger. I'm gonna attempt to get another fish on this same minnow. Try to conserve them. What seems to happen when I fish right here is they come in, I catch about two or three at a time and then they, I spook them. And then I just got, oh, he fell off. <laughs> spook them for about a half an hour and you gotta kinda just deal with it and just sit here and not really do any good. Uh, if this lake had more structure, I'd be able to walk around it more. But they tend to congregate right here. Oh, folks, I just got crappie number six. Oh, I had crappie number six. He fell off right at the bank again. What in the world? Well, gosh. All right, I finally got crappie number six that didn't fall off. It's a smaller one. I got about... 20 minutes before that sun goes down, so hopefully they're turning back on. They seem to be. I just missed one before this, so it's another small one. He's only about right at eight inches. It's a black this time. Fishing in front of that beaver dam still. Let's see if I can get another one. I went back to double minnows once I realized I was not going to be running out. I got about 10 left still, so I'm good for the rest of the 20 minutes I'm here. I just had a, two bad experiences. I had a big slab on, got caught in a brush, had to break my line, then I had a big bow fin and broke my bobber off on that stick. He got me hung up. I just caught a nice bluegill. I bet he is every bit of eight inches long. It's a nice bluegill. Caught him on a minnow. Oh, crap. He was, in, he was bigger than my hand, but unfortunately he just fell. I was going to show you guys. But I'm to the point right now where I can barely see what I'm doing. Luckily, I got bright orange bobbers. That's the only thing saving me at this moment. 